Welcome to OnSite, the ongoing video blog of the Patricia and Philip Frost Museum of Science, New Science Museum here in downtown Miami. I'm Frank Steslow, Chief Operating Officer, and a lot has happened since the last time we, uh, we shot this video, so I want to walk you through and show you some of the great progress we've been making. I'm here at the focal point of the Living Core Aquarium. Above my head is the 500,000 gallon Gulfstream Aquarium, which as of the last update was just being formed with steel and formwork getting to receive the concrete. As you can see behind and above me, the concrete has been successfully poured 27 inches thick in the thinnest place and 48 inches thick in the thickest. This vessel will hold over 500,000 gallons of water and the water will be treated by a very technologically advanced life support system with the pipes overhead beginning the installation of that system. I'm standing inside the 500,000 gallon Gulfstream Aquarium. This concrete vessel will be holding all sorts of marine life representing the Gulfstream, providing a myriad of opportunities for local, national, and international researchers to study things like sharks, tuna, mahi-mahi, schooling fish, all interacting together in one big community experience. Here at my feet is the opening that receives the large oculus window, the 13-inch thick acrylic window that will be set in place and will form the main visitor experience here at the Gulfstream Aquarium. The Living Core Aquarium is found throughout three levels, an outdoor vista, an indoor dive, and an indoor deep level, all exploring the habitats, creatures, and science around the environment found in South Florida. I'm standing in the dive level. Here, uh, you dive down deeper into the content and deeper underwater, viewing these large primary concrete vessels through acrylic windows, exploring the habitats, and getting hands-on with interactive science and technology tools similar to what scientists use to explore the same habitats out in nature. On this level around the large primary tanks are a series of clusters of flexible furniture elements. These furniture elements will provide smaller focus tanks, hands-on activities, science and technology tools to really get down and explore closely at some of this content and enable the museum to change this content on a very frequent basis, providing something new every time you come and visit. There's science on display everywhere here at the Frost Science Museum. Behind me are a series of large foam fractionating vessels, and they mimic the natural processes that occur in the marine environment. These fractionators create sea foam, that is, they remove protein from the water in the form of foam, and also inject oxygen into the water is a necessary process to keep the systems very safe for our animals and is only part of the very technical systems that we have here on the life support. Thank you for joining me here at the future home of the Patricia and Philip Frost Museum of Science in downtown Miami. Please stay tuned for more on-site videos and we look forward to you visiting us when we open.